The Ublom AI retouch has been saving my life for close to two years right now. I batch edit wedding with this and I also do high end scale retouching with this. But I feel Ublom is not getting enough credit or the credit it deserves. But Ublom is literally one of the best photo AI retouching software out there. Let me show you what Ublom can do. If I want to edit this image, I can do that in less than one minute with Ublom. It's going to automatically remove the blemishes and smooth the skin. Let me just show you how you can do that. So first of all, I'll duplicate my program layer by pressing on Command J. So instead of removing the blemishes manually and retouching the skin manually, all I have to do is come to Filter, click on Reblom, and just click on Reblom Retouch right here. And Reblom will automatically remove the blemishes for this image and just smooth the skin for me. Now, if I zoom in, you can see it's already doing that. So take a look at this image, the before and the after. Wow, this is really good. Now, Reblom is very easy to use. This is the interface of Reblom right here. We have two options right here. We have the natural and we have the fashion. So if you're the type of photographer that wants your image to look as natural as possible, I will advise you go for the natural field. While if you want to get that type of high-end skin fashion retouching, I will advise you go for the fashion. So basically, those are the two options. Now, if I click on the natural, it's just going to reduce the edit it did on the image compared to the fashion. So see the natural and see the fashion. You can see the natural and the fashion. The fashion is more glossy. Now that's for the style. Down here, we have the fine tune. This fine tune, we have two sliders, the general slider and the texture slider. This general slider controls how smooth you want your image to be. That is the amount of dodge and burn you want your image to have. While the texture slider right here controls how much texture you want to keep and remove from the image. So if I take this texture slider down to zero, you can see it just bring back the textures on the image, which are the blemishes, all right? So immediately I start taking this texture slider up, it's going to remove the blemishes for us, as you can see. For the general slider, if I take it all the way down to zero, you can see the image is not looking smooth anymore. So immediately I start taking this general slider up. It's just going to smooth the skin for us. All right. So uh, before and after. So from here, I want to click on OK. See, I'll be fine after I start the Photoshop. Uh, before and after. Now, as you can see, we've retouched this image in less than one minute inside of Photoshop and it's looking fully good. Now, if you feel the image is not smooth enough, what you can do you can run the Reblom on the image over and over again until you feel it's okay. Now let me show, show you how to do that and how that works before I show you how you can actually batch edit wedding pictures inside of Lightroom or if you're using Capture One. It works for either apps, all right? Now let's say you don't like this image or maybe you feel the image is not smooth enough for you. What you can do, you can create a stamp visible layer or just duplicate this layer by pressing on Command J and just come to filter again, click on Reblom Retouch and click on Reblom Retouch again. So basically, it's just going to retouch this image even more and make it look even more smoother. Now you can see how it has retouched this image for us and the image is looking really, really good uh, before and after, uh, before and after. Reblom is amazing and this is why I said it's not getting enough credit that it deserves. And for me, I'm going to click on OK and just group both layer. So you can see our overall before and after. These are before and after. Our before and after. Now, if you feel it's too much, you can come to this opacity and just take it down a little bit, just like that. All right. Now, if you shoot a lot of wedding and you have a lot of image to edit, obviously you don't have time to edit all of them one after the other. But with Reblom, you can actually batch edit your wedding image. All you have to do is choose Reblom and just relax and Reblom is going to take care of the edit for you. Now let me show you how you can use Reblom to edit your image instead of Capture One. Now this method also works if you use Lightroom. It's basically the same thing. So if I come to my Capture One, these are the wedding pictures I want to edit. Now before I show you how to batch edit, there's something Reblom does. If you have more than one person in the frame, you can actually edit them individually. Let me show you how that works now. Now let's say I want to edit the bride, but I don't want the edit to affect the groom too much. What I can do, I can just right click, click on edit with, click on Reblon retouch right here and click on edit variant. So it's going to open for me like this. So this happens if you have more than one person 
in the frame. So right now, you can see it has brought new menu for us. We have all. So if you want to edit, if you want the effect to affect everybody in the frame, let me just make this thing bigger. So you can see we have new menu right here. So if you select the all, this edit or this effect is going to affect everybody in the frame. And in this case, the bride and the groom. What if you want to reduce the effect on the groom? You don't want the groom face to be too smooth, but you want the bride face to be smooth. What you can do, you can just select the groom face right here and it automatically detects the groom face. Once it detects the groom face, maybe you feel the smoothness for the groom is looking too much. You can just come to the general and just take the general down for the groom and it's going to reduce the effect on the groom. Now, see the before and the after. The before and the after. So if you want to make it even more smooth, you can move it up like this. And in some cases, maybe you want the groom to look as natural as possible. So with the groom face selected, you can just click on this natural right here. It's just going to do a natural edit for the groom. So that is how this new menu work, just in case you have more than one person in the frame. Also, if you feel maybe the bride is looking a little bit too smooth, you can select the bride face right here. It will automatically detect the bride face. And if I just take down the texture, take down the general, you can see the effect is not affecting the bride, it's affecting only the groom. So that is how this works right here. So I want to take it back up, general up, and also texture up right here. Now, if you have a fast laptop or a fast system or a fast desktop, for the presets, I would advise you to use high quality. It gives you the best quality. But the trade-off is, it's going to take more time before your image loads or process. But if your system is not so fast, I would advise you to use ultra fast or fast or maybe balanced, but it's not going to give you a more detailed result or a more good retouching. So let's just try it right now. If I click on this ultra fast right here, you are going to see the effect for the retouch is not going to be as good as the high quality. Now, this is for the ultra fast. You can see the before and the after, the before and the after. Just take a look at the bright face, the before and the after. It's not looking good compared to this one right here with this high quality. So let's just do high quality again so you can see the before and the after. All right, so you can see for the high quality, just take a look at the bright face, see the before. The before and the after. The before and the after. It's a lot better right now. Now for Ublom, if you have a very slow system, I would advise you to use the ultra fast because it's going to load faster. But the trade-off is you're not going to get the best or the highest quality retouch. But if you have a good or a fast laptop or a fast system or a fast desktop, I would advise you to use the highest quality. It's going to give you the best quality retouch so that's the difference now let me quickly show you how you can batch process your image before we continue if you are looking to enhance or improve your studio background i created 25 amazing smooth light effects that you can use to enhance your studio background and these are some of the smooth light effects and if you're interested i will leave the link where you can buy it in the description below of this video and there's a step-by-step -step video explaining in details how to use it now back to our video now to batch process with Weblum, all you have to do is just make a selection of all the image you want to batch edit. So in this case, I just make a selection of these images right here. Once I make a selection of this image, all I have to do is to right click, click on edit with and click on Weblum retouch. And just click on edit variant right here. So it's just going to prepare the 11 images which I have. Let us wait for it to load. So as I wait for it to load, you can also do this exact same thing with Lightroom. If you're using Lightroom, just make a selection of the images you want to edit. Right click, you're going to see Edit Width and just select Reblum. It's going to process your image like this as well, the way it's processing inside of Caption right now. So once it's finished loading, all you have to do from here is just click on OK. So once you click on OK, all you have to do is relax and Reblum Retouch is just going to do the retouching for you. And after it has finished retouching the image, it's going to save those image as JPEG instead of Capture One. So you are going to see the original RAW file after, and you are going to see the JPEG retouch file after. And like I said earlier, you can also do the same thing with Lightroom. Now, as you're waiting, let me quickly tell you this. Right now, you can try out Reblum for free for seven days. That means you can edit unlimited amount of pictures for free for seven days, and you can see if Reblum is compatible or it works well with your laptop before you decide if you want to buy it or not. 
And if you want to get that link, I'll be leaving it in the show below of this video. Try it out and let me know what you think. To install it and get the seven days free trial, all you have to do is copy the link in your browser like this. Now, if it's your first time, just accept all and just create an account. To create an account, click on your login. If your Gmail is connected, just click on continue with Gmail. But if it's not, just input your Gmail right here and click on continue and just follow the signing process. So for me, I'm just going to click on continue with Gmail because my Gmail account is linked to this browser. So I'm going to open it and click on continue. So I've created an account. Now I can choose to download it right here or what I can do, I'm going to click on this three blog right here to go back to the main home. So once you come to the home, you are going to see two options, buy a blog and download app. All you have to do is click on this download app. And once you click on this download app, it will automatically start your download right here. So Ublom will automatically detect if you're using a Mac or a Windows. So it's going to download the file that is compatible with either Mac or a Windows. So after that, all you have to do is just follow the normal installation process, the way you install your app and you are good. All right. Now that means that for the subscription, there's an option to pay $8 yearly. So they're going to calculate $8 every year. And if I click buy now, the total is going to be $104. So this is for 12 months. So after 12 months, you have to pay $104 again. That is for the yearly bill. So if you want to pay monthly, just click on the monthly right here. And I'm going to pay $24.90, which is approximately $25 every month. So if you click on buy now, you can see right here, your bill for one month is $24.90. So for the lifetime method, with that link, instead of paying $249 for a lifetime, you are going to be paying $1.24 for a lifetime. So if you click buy now, this means that once you buy it, you buy it for life. So any updates, you are going to be getting any update they release. You are not going to be subscribing after 12 months or after one month once you pay for this lifetime method. So that's the difference between the social plan and the lifetime plan. So this is how you can use the Reblom AI to retouch your image and also to batch edit your weddings. And if you want to learn how to use Nano Banana to change or manipulate your background, check out this video right here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.